Well, the controversy over if, when, and how President Trump reaches out to the families of fallen soldiers has taken a new turn. The president is now in a very public showdown with a congresswoman from Florida. Kimberly Gill is in the newsroom, and Kim, we're tracking two very different stories about a phone call to a grieving widow. Right, Karen, good afternoon to you. This dispute is getting very personal. The Congresswoman is Democrat Frederica Wilson of Florida. She says she was in the car when the president called the wife of Sergeant David Johnson. Johnson was one of four Green Berets who died October 4th during an ambush in the African country of Niger. As his body arrived in Florida on Tuesday, Wilson says she was shocked by what the president said during his phone call to the soldier's widow. Wilson says the call was on speakerphone. He was sorry that uh, she had his sympathy, but he was hoping that even though her husband gave his life for this country, this sarcasm, he said, sarcastically he said, uh, but you know he must have known what he signed up for. Like, how could you say that to a grieving widow? Well, at first, the White House said the conversation should be considered private. Then the president tweeted, quote, Democrat Congresswoman totally fabricated what I said to the wife of a soldier who died in action, and I have proof, sad, exclamation point. But later at the White House, President Trump was asked for that proof, and here's what he had to say. Let her make her statement again, and then you'll she find out. She, okay, let her make her statement again, and then you'll find out. Well, late today, White House spokesperson Sarah Huckabee Sanders says there are no recordings of that conversation. She says the president was very respectful with the soldier's widow, and several presidential staffers heard that call and can back up his story. Congresswoman Wilson has called the president a, quote, sick man. Karen, it's another emotionally charged controversy facing the president. We'll, of course, keep you posted. All right. Thank you very much, Kim. Sure.